So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is managing a gk multi tenant cluster with name spaces so first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel now follow the way i am doing this lab and you will get full score without any issue now open the console in incognito window and if it asks for username and password check the lab for it so if you face any issue do comment down below now here we will see opening the cloud console so it's auto automatically opening so you need not to wait just click on i understand here click on i agree and then agree and continue now basically we have to activate the cloud shell so how you will activate the cloud shell you have to just click on this button and it will initiate the cloud shell session here you have to just click on continue and just authorize yourself so here as you can see click on continue and just authorize yourself and once the cloud shell session is live we will execute all the things so now click on authorize so finally the cloud shell session is live now now in the description box of this video i've shared this repo how you'll find this repo you have to scroll the description of this video and you will see github just click on it and hit enter now here we have to export the region so how will you find the region oh sorry zone here is the zone just control f and find the zone so just paste over here and hit enter now this will take some time so you need to wait for it now follow the video completely otherwise if you miss any single step you won't be able to get full score and you will face unnecessary error in this lab so just wait for these commands to execute and basically here we have to authorize ourselves with bigquery and open the looker studio where we'll be running the custom query so this lab requires some manual effort also don't worry i will show you how you can complete this lab easily so just follow it completely with me
So finally, what you need to do, you have to just click on this URL and authorize yourself with the BigQuery that you are transferring data from your BigQuery to the Looker Studio. This is the requirement for this. So what you need to do, you have to just click on this link. Let me show you how I will click. So just click on like this. And here you have to authorize yourself. So make sure to select the student user ID and just click on it. And now click on continue. And after that you have to just allow and just copy this code. You have to just copy this code and paste on your cloud shell. Just paste and hit enter. Now finally it has transferred the data. Now when you will hit check my progress you will not get full score. I know you may be worried why we will not get full score. We have completed all the tasks because you have not done one task that is exporting the data and running to Looker. So let me show you which task we have to complete. This task, wait a minute, you will get the score on previous one because we have completed. No, no, no. Here we have to authorize the BigQuery in the Looker console. So right click open incognito window. Now we here we have to just run a custom query and after that we'll be able to get the full score on this lab so just wait for it now it's taking a bit time so finally it's loaded here first for the first time you have to just select your country and just company name so from here you need to cross verify what we have to select so we have to select data source as we have already transferred the data source now for country I am from India, you select your country, India, I love my India. So just select it and for company name, you can write anything. And if you haven't subscribed the channel till now, like the video and subscribe the channel. Now click on yes to all. If you are unable to see continue, just uh, decrease the zoom on your web page and just now click on continue, create and just authorize yourself. Just follow the way I'm doing in the video. Now here again you have to select the student user id like we did previously i hope you remembered now from here most important thing is that you have to select custom query what query you have to select this query you have to select and here you have to make some modification now select your project id and paste over here here you have to update the project id how you find the project id is present on here on the lab panel just replace it carefully and what you have to do just click on the connect and connect is present on the top as you can see just be, just below the profile so just click on connect and it will be connected to your database basically the data will populate automatically and it's populated now when you hit check my progress you get the score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete the lab if you face any issue do let me know in the comment section do join the telegram do like the video subscribe the channel for more skill badges check the description thank you have a great day